Hi everyone, Miss Dolman and Lucy here. Now, whenever you're learning about science, you will oftentimes need tools, and these tools will help you compare and record information. You'll then use this data and organize it using numbers, letters, and pictures. Micra, scope this lesson out for more information on science tools. Enjoy! Welcome to Katya's lab. Here are some of the science tools that we will be using today. Thank you for I dropping in today, Lucy. <laughs> <laughs> Katya, let me show you a very important experiment. Here we go. Ah, it's a science thing, right? No, no, let's no. Let me show you how to use science tools correctly. First, we're going to start with our safety equipment. Always wear goggles in the lab to protect your eyes. Also, you should wear gloves to protect your hands. Lucy, put on your gloves next. Ta-da! I feel safer already. Last but not least, we have our lab coats on to protect our clothes. Aprons would have worked too. Next, we'll talk about measurement tools. You have to be the ruler of your lab. Ah, this is a measurement tool. I know what that's used for. I've been to measurement school. And space. The ruler measures length. These are test tubes, a beaker, and Lucy is using a measuring cup. Careful! These tools measure volume, which is the amount of space a substance takes up. This tool is an eyedropper. Use this for small amounts of liquid. This is a scale. It's used to measure weight. Lucy, how much does the shell weigh? It weighs 8 grams. Now we'll talk about optical instruments. Optical instruments are devices that magnify images for viewing. Let's show you some examples. Lucy, can you lens me a hand? <laughs> Just kidding. That's a hand lens. Wow, I can see more details on the shell. An even more powerful instrument is a microscope. A microscope is used to see images that are too small to see with our eyes. If you look inside, you can see what the cells are doing. Wow! So tiny, yet so big with a microscope. But Katya, what if objects are big but really far away? That's when we use a telescope. A telescope is an instrument designed to observe distant objects. These are binoculars. Binoculars have two telescopes in them for seeing objects far away. Next, we'll talk about general science tools. Stunning! Finally, my hat came. No, that is not a hat. Oh. Let me show you what it's for. Funnels are used for guiding liquid or powder into a small opening. Make sure you take good notes. Pencil and notebooks are used for recording information. Selfie time? No. You can record data with a camera. You can take photos of all of your work, like this. What other science tools can you name? When you are finished with all of your experiments, always clean up your materials and wash your hands. Okay, got it. Hey, Katya, what kind of dog does a scientist have? A lab. <laughs> 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 Science can really help us answer a lot of questions. Now, you'll get these questions answered a whole lot faster if you use science tools correctly and safely.